Master George Porkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The devil wants anything but you to believe in Jesus. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, if you love us passing on the faith to the next generation, like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. We're passing the faith on, and your tax-deductible gift helps us. The traditional gospel lesson for Inwokawit, which is the first Sunday in Lent, is always the Lord's temptation. Uh, then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He was driven, driven into the wilderness. From where? What's the then? His baptism. So he's baptized, he's still dripping with water, and he's thrown into, into his temptation. Isn't that just the way life is? After 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, he was hungry. And the tempter came and said, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. Isn't that just wonderfully loving? The devil's first, first temptation is an incredibly loving one. JC, you're hungry. Eat something. You can command the stones to become bread. But the Lord says, uh, he answered, verse 4, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Um, the, the Lord quotes scripture first to handle the devil, um, to teach us that we don't live by what goes on in here, which is a great thing to learn when it comes to Lent and fasting. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Uh, Jesus is the boss of me. And that is most clearly heard from the words received from the words. I live from the word of God. How shameful is that? Because I live from everything other than the word of God. We'll get to that later. Then the devil took him to, uh, the, uh, to the holy city. Oh, set him at the top of the church and set him on the pinnacle of the temple. If you are the son of God, you know, if what was said about you at your baptism is true, uh, then surely uh, some things follow from that. Um, throw yourself down for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you. Nice snatch. Well, no, no. The ruling on the field, incomplete. Um, Throw yourself down for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and uh, on their hands he will bear them up, lest they strike their foot against the stone. Again, so oftentimes people think that this is all about resisting temptation. Uh, tips for resisting temptation. And the first tip that they give is, quote the scriptures against the devil. Well, the devil quotes scripture too. And so, um, that was a little high. Sorry about that. The devil quotes scripture too. And so, here, the Lord makes, reshifts the devil's errant interpretation of it, of the scriptures, and says, um, you shall not put the Lord God to your test. Uh, when the devil quotes scripture, he twists it. The Lord sets him straight by providing proper context. Your temptation violates the scriptures that you're quoting. And so your interpretation must be wrong. We'll get to that later on this week. Um, then the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the earth and all their glory. Matthew 28 is going to have Jesus on a mountain and he's going to say, all authority on heaven and earth has been given to me. And so after the death and resurrection of Christ, he's on a high mountain. But before his death, he's on a high mountain. And the devil says, all these things I will give to you. All authority on heaven and earth, I'll give to you. We can argue about how the devil can have that authority to give the authority to Jesus. But let's just sort of take a look at this masterful last temptation. All this I will give to you. All you got to do is fall down on your uh, fall down on your knees, proskuneimi, worship me. Now, sometimes we think of this sort of like the John Lovett skit where the devil's dressed in red with pitchforks, and, uh, with horns and pitchforks. Like, worship me, worship me. Like it's crazy. Well, it seems crazy based upon the other ones. Uh, food worked on Adam. Um, being God worked on Adam. Uh, well, this isn't working, so I'm just going to try something crazy like worship me. Uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, Sandra can provide for us uh, John Lovitz as um, uh, the devil in this corner. <laughs> 
the but if you if you if you sort of focus on the text you'll see what's going on here is far more than a hail mary pass no pun intended but um that um uh, this is about you know jesus you can be any sort of god you can be any sort of savior. You can be loved. You can be talked about. You can do miracles. You can heal the sick. You can raise the dead. Just don't do the cross. Just don't do the cross. Do anything but the cross. And this is so important because this tells us what 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 religion is really all about. The de- well, hello there. The devil doesn't care about your little piddly sins. He'll drag you into them, but that's not his big concern. The big concern of the devil, the thing that he most wants you not to do, is to believe that Jesus died and rose again for you. If he can do, if he can like, like sway you from that, if he can course correct you from that, if you can get you to look at yourself, I'll be better, I'll change, I can do better, then he's already successful in doing what he wants to do. What he really wants to do is to get you to trust in something other than Jesus. And with Jesus, what he really wants is for Jesus to be some other God other than the Calvary one. It doesn't matter what kind of God you are, JC, just don't be the God who dies and rises again. And so you can have it all. You can be it all. Just don't be the crucified one. Just don't be that guy. Missed. Just don't be that Lord. Ooh, he snatched it, but he didn't get a clean thing. So that's going to be like a half credit for. So just don't be the God who dies and rises again. Not for them. And what's so important about this, and we're hitting the seven minute mark, so I've only got 30 seconds to go, is if Jesus fails, we're lost. If Jesus goes over, under, like Adam went under, like Eve went under, if Jesus is Adam 1.0, then we're we're damned. Because without a dead Jesus on a cross to rise again from the dead on Easter morning, no matter what kind of Lenten sacrifice we make, we're lost. We're lost in our sins. We're lost in our death. And we're under the domain of the devil. But he doesn't fail. He doesn't get tempted. He says, be gone, Satan. It is written, you must... Worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. And then the devil left him, and behold, angels were coming to minister to him, to minister to him. This is about you. This is not about you overcoming temptation. This is about you being saved. Jesus goes mano y mano with the devil so that you would be saved. And he doesn't fail. And in him, we're lifted out of Adam's failure. We're saved. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been an Empire Things video short.